I'm just in the process of refitting the cylinder barrels to this Royal Enfield 750 Series 2 interceptor engine. I've got the uh, left hand one on obviously, that all went uh, quite nicely and smoothly. And the right side one, I've got it down now over the rings and I'm just about to sort of finish the process and uh, hopefully lower it fully into place. I've got a thin steel rule there that just fits under the skirt of the piston at top dead centre. I've also got the, um, managed to clean up and reuse the aluminium cylinder barrel spacers on this one. I don't often use or reuse them, but in the case of this one, it looked like the one crown of the piston, of a piston, had just been clipping the cross ring, um, which is uh, Enfield speak for 750 Series 2 head gasket. So, I didn't want to sort of lower the barrels any more than they were before and the base gaskets that I've got here are actually, appear, they appear to be slightly thicker than the ones that came off. There's obviously a base gasket underneath the little spacer as well as above. So two base gaskets, slightly thicker than before, plus the original barrel spacers should give it a little bit of extra space for manoeuvre. Um, and I just thought I'd talk about the uh, arrangement I got here for clamping the piston rings. And obviously I got these piston ring compressors. These used to be a lot deeper than this. I trimmed them down to make them shallower. Um, they literally just fit over the rings in question, all three at a time, with a little bit of room to spare, obviously. And I've got one there still in position. You can just see the piston rings there, they've gone up into the bore, we're past the last one. Um, I use the piston ring compressor in conjunction with a very strong cable tie, or if you're from the land where you call pinking pinging, perhaps a zip tie. And um, what I can do with this is if I'm very careful, it's a bit of a fiddle but not too bad, I can poke a small electrical screwdriver in there and pop the tang and release the cable tie. If you really get stuck you can always cut it with a Stanley knife or something I suppose or snips but uh, generally I find I can reuse the cable tie over and over. It'll pull really tight onto the compressor. Obviously I start the uh, ring compressor at the top of the ring compressor just above the edge of the piston crown. Have the cable tie close to the top edge of the ring compressor choke it as tightly as possible to close the rings up and then obviously the rest of it speaks for itself you slide the cylinder barrel down over the piston rings hopefully and once you're clear of them and before you get too far down you need to stop I've got the um, the rings are quite a tight fit in the bore actually so the barrel has just kindly stayed put there but I'm going to Release the cable tie next. Obviously, you're not going to see that because I can't hold the camera and do that. But basically, release the cable tie, pull it out of the way. Uh, <laughs> make sure that I don't drop this down into the crankcase. And uh, as soon as the cable tie is released a bit, the ring compressor will spring outwards. It's unlikely to go in the crankcase anyway. But just a little care has got to be taken with that. And then hopefully... With that lot out of the way, I should be able to finish lowering the cylinder barrel into position and the job will be done. So I just thought I'd share how I do that and uh, it usually works pretty well. Um, sometimes you can run into a bit of trouble on individual engines and circumstances but uh, overall I think it's the best method I've used yet and I've used it for quite some time. So I just thought I'd share that in case anyone's interested.